Namaste people, welcome to Shweta's basket. My name is Shweta and this is my basket, which are very lovingly packed with goodies like short stories, poems, book, movie and restaurant reviews, all absolutely fresh and original. For the reviews, you can head over to my website and ask for stories and poems. Well, stick around. So, this is one of those bittersweet moments, you know. You start a journey full of apprehensions and insecurities and you're full of hope. And when you end it, there is this great feeling of accomplishment and sadness that the journey is over. Well, something like that is happening here. There are a lot of things that I want to share with you guys. So let's start with that. On top of the agenda is, of course, the first celebratory contest of Shweta's Basket. As many of you know, 16th May, Shweta's Basket is going to complete one year. And hence, we have been hosting a month-long party, which started on 24th of April and will finish on 16th of May. And we have this party every weekend. So there were four weekends and we had four different themes for each weekend. And there were two games per theme. So yes, the games come at you really fast and furious. If you blink, you miss. So, do not blink, do not miss. Every Saturday and Sunday, log into your Facebook with your favorite beverage and dive right to these games. Remember, each of these games are open only for 24 hours. And who can participate in these games? Well, absolutely everybody can participate, from teenagers to parents and their parents too. The games are such that everyone can join in and everyone can enjoy. To participate and win cool prizes, all you have to do is make sure that you subscribe to the website that's www.shwetasbasket.com So two weekends have come and gone and we have had four games and four winners and two winners have already been declared and have received the personalized prizes. And depending on when this episode airs, one or both the winners of the second weekend would also have been declared. The enthusiasm of the participants and all the commenting and joking keeps the atmosphere very lively. So you can check out our Facebook page or the website for the winners. Please spread the word, tell your friends and family and join us this weekend. So that was the first piece of news. The second piece of news is that technically this is the last episode of Shweta's Basket. This episode will feature the last story and then it will be the end of season 1. And I have a very beautiful story for you for this episode. How does it make me feel that this is the last episode? Well, many things. Happy, (laughs) proud, even relieved, sad, hopeful, (laughs) all those things. And then we move on to the third piece of news. So there will be one more episode after this, but that episode is going to be very special. Because, first, it'll be the one and the only episode that'll be part of the ongoing first celebratory contest of Shweta's Basket. Two, it will not feature one story, but it will feature five drabbles by five different writers. What are drabbles? Drabbles are hundred word stories. And these are no ordinary drabbles. These five drabbles have been selected from the winning drabbles from a weekly event held at Penmency. Penmency is an online writing platform that nurtures new talent with their varied exercises, events and feedback. So these were the three big news that I had for you guys. Celebrations, this being the last story episode of season one and that there will be one more episode which will be aired this Saturday, 8th of May, which will be part of the contest. Okay, so now let's get down to our story. This story is titled Storm and is written by Natasha Sequera. Now, Natasha is a kind and gentle soul 
who loves animals, food and the beach. She is a history and English literature major with a passion for penning poems. She describes herself as a homemaker with a ladle in one hand and a pen in the other. So this is Natasha Sequeira's story, Storm. The beautiful ranch in sunny Mexico spread before her eyes. Samantha Crump let out a phlegm-filled cough <coughs> and walked towards the stables. She cast her eyes on Storm, her five-year-old thoroughbred mare. Standing tall, the ebony black mare nuzzled her shoulder. Um. Sorry, Storm. <coughs> I cannot accompany you to the races today. <coughs> the doctor has advised complete bed rest <sighs> because of my chest congestion. It'll have to be Jack for you today. Sam, aka Samantha Crump, was the only person capable of handling the spirited storm aptly named. Her father had a sizable cattle ranch and apart from that he raised a few apalusas and thoroughbreds for racing purposes. Samantha had been a quiet child, tiny, timid and reserved. She never did well in school, nor was she into sports. But amongst the farm animals she found her calling. She was an adept hand on the ranch most of all, she turned out to be the horse whisperer for the new filly, Storm, five years ago. Storm was only peaceful around Samantha. This was when Sam found her calling and decided to become a jockey, much to her parents' chagrin. She was small made, lightweight and fit the description of a jockey. Sam. Hardly any girls race horses competitively, they said, trying to dissuade her. But Sam pursed her pink lips, tied her blonde hair and put on her spurs. And that was it. She was a competent jockey and could beat most of her male counterparts. She had even won the Kentucky Derby last year. She proudly hung the winning medal in Storm's stall. Come on, sweetheart, let's get you ready for good old Jack, coughed Sam. What are you doing out of your bed, Sam? You are not going to the races today. You're housebound for two weeks, exclaimed Lillian Crump, her mother. No way, mom. I am going to the derby. I have to be there when... Storm crosses the finish line. The race began with Storm racing past all but one horse, crowning glory. Go Storm! cheered the crowd. And then the unthinkable happened. Beautiful mare fell forward, plummeting Jack into the guardrails head on. The rest was a blur for Sam and her family. The screeches of sirens and ambulances broke Sam's reverie. She was sitting beside Storm, who had broken both her front ankles. Storm was in tremendous pain. Jack Bailey was badly hurt and put into a medically induced coma. I shall nurse you back to health, my love, she cried into a horse's mane of long hair. But Storm was laying prone on the floor. She was on painkillers, but nothing helped. Sometimes there is no happy choice, Sam. Only one less grievous than the others, said her father. Sam bit her lip 
till blood poured out while she braced herself for the gunshot that would give storm her rest This is such a heart-wrenching story, isn't it? Did you know that horses can live up to 20 to 30 years, but the race horses, they have a maximum lifespan of only 8 years. And if they get seriously injured and the damage is irreversible, then they are put to rest. That is so sad. A beautiful life snuffed. because it is no longer useful or profitable <sighs> anyway people that was the last story for season 1 ashwetha's basket will be back soon with a new season So please do let me know what else would you like to hear in episodes in season 2. The format is still a work in progress, so I'll be more than happy to read your inputs, thoughts and ideas. All are welcome. So do write to me and let me know. My email ID is shweta@richwithersbasket.com and you will find that in the episode description as well. Visit my website www.shwetasbasket.com for more short stories, poems and reviews. And apart from emailing me, you can get in touch with me on Facebook or Instagram. My handle is shwetasbasket. I hope you got my previous episodes and not to miss any in the future. Do subscribe to my website and follow my podcast. Do remember, there will be one more episode on Saturday, the 8th of May. And guys, have you thought about having a website of your own? You too could be having a celebration for the anniversary of your website in one year's time. Because having a good-looking and professional website is now just a click away. <laughs> If you have, then listen on. In the meantime, this is your host Shweta Singh signing off. Till we meet again on the air. Bye for now. Do you want to have a website of your own? Are you a writer, photographer, actor, makeup artist, hairstylist, or even a tutor, singer, painter, journalist, consultant? Or do you have your own cafe, restaurant, resort, holiday home, shop, small business, hospital, or even a blog, WordPress, or Blogspot account that you want to migrate to a good-looking website? Well, look no further. The geeks will help you, and you will find them in the geeks room at Artoons Inn. Just click on the link in the episode description. Yes, it's that simple to have a website. My website is hosted and managed by them. And want to know what I love about them? They are professional, customer pleasers, straight talkers and very confidently priced. So what are you waiting for? Your website is just a click away.